This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Bill Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, sent by God to your house to declare to you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4 tell us what the gospel is. How that Jesus Christ died by our sins, according to the scripture. He was buried. And he rose again the third day, according to the scripture. Bear the Lord's upon it, because he's anointed me, preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the broken heart, raise the livers to the captives, coming of sight to the blind, set at liberty, them that are bruised. The word is nigh thee, even in your heart, in your mouth, is the word of faith which I preach. You will confess with your mouth. The Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. There's a power of God unto salvation. For everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek therein. Is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by his faith. Amen. Thank God. I want to welcome everyone receiving this broadcast on live stream. Roku, Apple TV, Amen, YouTube, other devices. Amen. Thank God. Kathy Davidson, co-host, president. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Terry Brown, co-host, present with us. Good morning to you. How are you? Good morning. I'm all right. Good. We're all doing well here. If we don't do well here, the Spirit of God, through the Father, says, what's going on? Straighten up. Walk straight. Amen. Also, we have with us Anthony Reese. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. These are all normal. I'm not saying they're normal. They're <laughs> always with me on this program. <laughs> Amen. And then we have Brian Bonner. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. Amen. And Paul Peters. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. And we have a congregation. And there they come to be ministered by the Spirit of God, Jesus, and Him crucified. Amen. How's that? Then we got the My Girls. Yeah, some of them from Colorado as well. What do you say? We've got that Colorado woman. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I already talked to her this morning. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> my goodness sakes. I'm glad somebody's awake. And I'm awake, but I've got. A few things distracted me, frankly, and they're not, well, they're the devil's trying to distract me. All right, Catherine Courier, you here? I am here. Good morning. Good morning. That's terrible. I was going to talk to you this morning and I had to quit, and, and right here I forgot you. Terrible. <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
But you know what? I don't like to make mistakes at all, but I'm not ashamed to admit them. Now can the my girls come out and lift me up? salvation. You need grace and you need faith. And I want to take a look at that grace for a minute because I believe this will exhort all of us. If you will go with me to John 1 14, we're going to take a look at some of the attributes of grace. John 1 7, uh, I think it's 17, forgive me. It says, for the law was given by Moses, but grace, grace, what we don't deserve, God working on our behalf when we don't deserve it. And truth came by Jesus Christ. That grace came. And that word, if you look up the word by, it means by the service or the intervention of Jesus. 
The intervention of Jesus. How did he intervene? He went to the cross for you and I. We didn't deserve it. We didn't deserve our sins forgiven and put on the body of Jesus. But he did it anyway. We didn't deserve that all the curses that we accumulated went on the body of Jesus. We didn't deserve it, but Jesus did it anyway. And one of those curses was poverty and sickness. And all this was put on the body of Jesus. Jesus intervened on our behalf. That's where the grace came from. Now, I want to show you about, you know, Paul, the, the Apostle Paul said, we work out our salvation with fear and trembling. And I have told God more than once in the wee hours in the dark corners of the house, you know, my biggest enemy is me. I said, I am my own worst enemy. Ever felt that way when you're working out your own salvation? Now I want to show you a couple of the attributes of grace. Turn with me to Romans 5. Hallelujah. Because you're going to find this grace, this grace is a life saver. Grace. Romans 5 verse 20. It says, Moreover the law entered that the offense might abound. It says, But where sin abounded, that grace. Where sin abounded, where sin came in, Amen. grace did much more abound. Amen. If you are dealing with sin in yourself, if you are dealing with all the things that that sin brought unto you, I want you to see that grace, what you didn't deserve, what Jesus did for you, that grace abounds over that sin. Amen. Do you see that? Grace is above and greater than sin. Grace is greater than your sin. Amen. That's one of the attributes. Now go with me to James 4. James 4, verse 6. Oh, let's begin. I'm going to, let's, let's begin. I'm going to begin in verse 1, chapter 4, because it leads up to it. It says, From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence even of your lusts? Your lusts that war on your members. This isn't sin. This is your lust. It says, You lust and you have not. You kill and you desire to have and you cannot obtain. You fight and you war. It says, but you have not because you ask not. And you ask and you receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your own lusts. Ever have to deal with your own lusts? Oh, they're so fun. It says, but verse 4, you adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Don't you know that your friendship with the world is God's enemy? That makes you God's enemy. It says, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Now what do you do? Now you're trying to get the world out of you and you find out now you're an enemy of God. What do you do? Keep going with these verses. It says, do you think that the scripture saith in vain the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? And look at this, verse 6. But he giveth more grace. Amen. He giveth more grace. You are trying to put off your lust. You are trying to put off your, the world. You are trying to put off the flesh. And like I said, you find out you're your own worst enemy. But what does it say in verse 6? But he giveth more grace. Amen. He'll give more grace. Amen. It says, wherein he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. He giveth grace unto the humble. You dealing with your flesh, get humble. Amen. And that grace will be there. It is greater than your flesh. Now go with me to 2 Corinthians 12. So now you've got sin, you've got your flesh, and now here comes stuff from without. I'm going to begin in verse 7 of 2 Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians 12. Unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Now he's got an outward attack. But what does grace do even in this? And he's, for this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, my grace. My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength 
is made perfect in weakness. Do you see how grace is always above the issue? It's always above the problem. It's always greater. Dole said last night in a short video, he said, don't give up. And I say the same thing. When you are dealing with your own heart, when you are dealing with the things around you, don't give up that grace. That grace is always greater. It is greater than your sin. And it is greater than your flesh. And it's greater than anything that comes from the outside towards you. That grace is sufficient. It is always enough. And then when you don't give up, that's using your faith. And what happens when the two meet? You've got salvation. Amen. Amen. Amen? Yeah. You through? I'm through. Are we ready to praise and worship God? Amen. Behold, I am the Lord. Thank you.
invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas, 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. <laughs>